What's up YouTube, this is Shuttleboy and I'm back with yet another video. Today's video, we're gonna be going over the first Golf Wang lookbook that was for fall, winter 2013, and we're gonna just look at it and see is it overrated or not. So let's get right into it, guys. All right, so I believe we have 24 different pictures to look at from this drop, including the cover here. And yeah, we're just gonna go over it. Has it aged well? Is it something that if it came out today, would people be as hyped as they were back in the day when this came out because I mean looking back at it now a lot of people still regard old golf as the end all be all the best of the best so let's just really look at this and see is it really as hot as people say it is um, so obviously with the first cover we have Lucas on the front uh, Lucas Versetti was like I guess a member for lack of a better term of Odd Future and yeah he used to be on all the promotional stuff he was very um, often around Tyler and stuff and nowadays you never see him uh, actually you should look him up now on like Instagram or something and you can see that wow he has changed but um, going into this though uh, the cover pretty eh, it's whatever it's not a very memorable cover it's just a picture of Lucas's face and golf on the front uh, so nothing very unique out of that uh, and then the second image here we do have just like basically a zoomed out version of the cover uh, with him wearing a golf snapback and then we got the blocks tee uh, so as for the pieces here uh, I actually do really like this hat um, it's a hat you don't really see uh, for sale on eBay or anything very often or grail uh, like you usually see like one of it once in a while but it's not something that you're gonna see like 10 listings of and I wouldn't mind having that hat, honestly. Um, I think it's pretty cool. Obviously, orange. I love orange. And then the block shirt. I love blocks, actually. Uh, so this is another shirt that is one of my favorites out there. Then uh, we're going to another grail piece with the next picture uh, being the Kill Cap button-up. Uh, this is one that it also came in another color and it, like the yellow colorway and... Yeah, this is another classic. Uh, I really like it. As for the quality, I don't think it's all that great, to be honest. It's very similar, I will say, to the Flame button-up. might even be the same. And uh, Flame button-up isn't the greatest of quality either. I just don't really like how they do the collars of those. Uh, they're not very pronounced on the crease of it, and I don't like that. Then the next picture, another picture of Lucas with the corduroy uh, snapback. Eh, it's whatever. This picture is pretty lame, though. It just doesn't really show the hat very well or the shirt that he's wearing. Um, and then the next picture, we have the native... Uh, cat snapback as well as the polka dot shirt both very cool but another thing that the picture is just kind of garbage if you ask me um, it's just not really showcasing anything from it uh, then the next picture we have Lucas in here again and we got one of the striped shirts one of the original striped shirts here I always really liked that one um, now looking back at it it's still cool but it's not like the craziest one or anything um, but I still would be down to cop that in the future if I could get it. Uh, we got two corduroy hats, which are pretty bland and pretty generic. If these came out at this day and age, people would say that this is really boring and golf has lost it, that's for sure. Um, and then another one that kind of fits in that theme is this t-shirt, this golf t-shirt here, just two-tone green with the golf logo. Pretty bland, if you ask me. Now moving on to this picture here, we got a camp hat here, camp cap, whatever you want to call it, and it's a five panel with the box cat logo on it. I always thought that was a cool logo, um, but for me personally, I probably would never buy it. And then we also have the popcorn t-shirt. I always thought that one was really cool, another very unique design. Uh, I love the stripes that go all around it. Some good pieces here, and then we got a zoom up of it, which I don't really know why we needed that picture. <laughs> Um, then we have another picture of Lucas just getting slapped or something by Tyler. Another thing that it's not showcasing anything new, so kind of pointless, I feel like. Uh, then we have Tyler showing off the bling here. Um, and we got the back of one of the corduroy hats, so showcasing some detailing of the hat. I mean, it's whatever. Uh, then we have the native cat hoodie. Uh, that's still one of my favorites to this day, I really like. and. Uh, the quality on this was really nice. I don't think it aged very well as far as the materials go, um, but it's still very cool. It's very similar to the Fab hoodie as far as quality. A beanie that just has the Kill Cat on it looks really slick in that black. Uh, the blue Golf Logo t-shirt um, and another corduroy hat. And yeah, a lot of people really do like these t-shirts. Personally for me, I just think if those were to have came out 
right now in 2020 and they never came out in the past, I think people would just kind of think it's a lazy design that's not that cool, honestly. Um, but that's just me. Um, then we got another t-shirt here and another beanie. Um, both of these designs, eh, they're nothing too crazy to me. Beanie is pretty forgettable and um, it was pretty forgettable then and now too. Then this other picture of Lucas, we have the native cat hoodie in the iconic colorway, the brown colorway. That is my favorite colorway by far of that hoodie. Um, then another polka dot. Uh, shirt here the pink one which I think that one is the one I always see the most you don't really see the white one as often um, and then we got the tiger stripe tees in this another one I really like I have the orange one and that is my favorite colorway by far it's in the video as well for IFHY um, and then yeah they had it in the blue and then also in the white I love all three of them a lot but like I said the orange is easily my favorite um, and then we have the beanie the great wang of the Flognaw land um, and yeah both of these pieces are cool both very iconic pieces moving on we have a red colorway of the beanie uh, which is cool but I feel like uh, how we know uh, golf wing drops to be now there's usually some pieces you don't really know about that drop alongside stuff uh, different colorways of things and stuff and I feel like this is a picture we didn't need it could have been left for interpretation for later to be like wow there's a red colorway of this hat too but then we got the tiger striped socks very cool very cool we got another colorway of that kill cat button up which once again I wish they kind of just left that for interpretation for a surprise later on. Uh, just more of the same basically here. Uh, another colorway that could have been shown later. I feel like that hat could have been shown later as well. Um, and same with those socks, the native cat socks. And last but not least, we got a picture of Tyler um, where he drew on his corduroy hat and he's wearing the fat hoodie we talked about before. An underrated colorway of that fat hoodie. I do really like all in all guys i gotta say looking back at all that stuff uh, a few things that i want to bring up is as far as the lookbook goes the presentation the quality of the photos just how it was all executed i think it was pretty garbage honestly it just wasn't done very well uh, a lot of images that feel kind of pointless because although it does showcase uh, some newer pieces or stuff like that uh, i feel like just like what they do nowadays uh, they could have implemented now um, where you don't need to show me every single colorway that comes out let the people be surprised and just be excited for something new to come out uh, which they ended up fixing in later drops that ended up being a thing that's very heavily utilized with all the new drops these days just all, overall the creativity of the pictures were just pretty lame uh, i just i wasn't really feeling that all in all um but for the pieces the clothing that was in this drop um, I think there's a lot of solid ones in here and a lot of forgettable ones in here. Uh, I think a lot of the golf logo things uh, were pretty lame, honestly. I think nostalgia kind of has us wrapped into the fact that we think, oh, old golf logo stuff has to be cool. Um, but I, I just really, these like two-tone colored shirts, I, I just never was really a fan of. You'd always be like, oh, sweet, a golf logo t-shirt, but it's just... At the end of the day, it's pretty bland. It's nothing really all that exciting. And I think honestly, a lot of the golf logo uh, t-shirts that come out nowadays are a lot more exciting than some of the old uh, golf logo t-shirts. But that's just me. Let me know down below, guys, what you were thinking of this drop just in retrospect. Do you think this is really super fire or do you think this is kind of overhyped? I'm kind of in between. I think there's definitely some things that are really overhyped, but I definitely think there's some things that were really awesome then that are still awesome now. Um, I definitely think though that the lookbooks have definitely uh, evolved over time though. They've gotten a lot better. Um, but that's just me guys. Let me know all that stuff down below of what you're thinking and please hit that thumbs up button if you enjoy this video as well guys. And please subscribe if you haven't already for more golf wing, more sneakers, more clothing, more shuttle boy. And this is shuttle boy guys and I'm out guys. Peace. Oh hey, I didn't see you there. Is this your first shuttle boy video? Have you been here before? If not, I really recommend you subscribing. If you really like all this golf wing stuff, this is what this channel is about. If you like these sneakers, you definitely should see some more. We go over a ton of golf wing here, whether it be the latest pickups or golf wing grails. Definitely come here to subscribe and watch more Shuttle Boy because everything here has to do with golf wing, sneakers, clothing, and more Shuttle Boy.